Hey, collector. Welcome to my channel, Divani True Tarot. Yes, I am your reader, Renetta. And we are going to see what's going on with you in your person. See what messages spirit has to say. Okay. Collective, please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless. So let's hop on in. Tap in, tap in. Let's get these messages. Let's see. Collective, you know, this is like my, I want to say my, what, third time trying to start this video. So it's like, <laughs> and the reason why I had to keep starting up because it just didn't feel right. Like, I had to really take a step back and collect myself and then come in it again. It's like, I don't know. So collective, you or your person might need to step, take a step back to collect yourself, collect your thoughts, make a decision, something like that. Because something is not getting started. It's not getting off the ground. You got to reassess something. Re-look at, revisit a decision, something like that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Holy Spirit. Let's see. Let's get an overall energy. What's the overall message for the collective? Let's see. Okay. Uh -huh. Take a step back. <laughs> I can't make this up. So, yes, collective. Uh-huh. You need to look at something from a different perspective or something like that yeah because we have opportunity and change so <laughs> there's an opportunity to change something or you're being presented with a, a decision that you have to make about which direction that you're going to go in here yeah trust the universe so yeah so there there could be a change in plans because you're looking at things differently you're not you're not rushing into something you're not rushing to make a decision something like that what can you tell me about take a step back holy spirit take a step back from what what is this what are we taking a step back from we have mature man so this could be a father figure this could be a husband this could be somebody who is very distinguished here yeah mature man is taking a step back looking at something from a different perspective here. Mm -hmm. Family room here. So it could be looking at a family dynamic. It's also too, for some of you guys, this mature man is like, do I really want to have this family? Because we have family room expectation and main female. So for some of you guys, this masculine mature energy is taking a look at this main female that could be expecting a baby, a child, with this expectation of family room, they could have tried to make plans with this feminine energy to move in together, to start a family, to live together, something like that. And now they're looking at this from a different perspective here. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. What is this mature man taking a look at? Let's see. Holy Spirit. Mm, yeah. I mean, it's very... <laughs> Somebody is gathering all the information. The light is on. Mm. We got that glow right there. So they could be looking up information online, worldwide web. That's what I'm getting. Mm. We have adjudication in the reverse. So something didn't go out, didn't work out in somebody's favor. Adjudication in the reverse. That's like the justice energy in the reverse. That right there is making me feel like there's some karma here. With this false person, yes. This mature man is looking at this false person uh -huh, from a different perspective. They looking at their side eye. They looking at them strange as shit. Somebody's birthday could be August 17th. <sighs> Something didn't work out in somebody's favor. It's like, for some of you guys, this masculine energy is reneging on a decision. They made a decision. To do something here, made a decision to take a, di a different direction or a certain direction here. Nuh uh. The <laughs> wealthy man and pathway. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They they not going down that down that road that they they shit, they once was. Okay. 
It's like, you turn. I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to take that chance, that risk, something of the sort. Yeah, because something is not working out in their favor. Mm, mm, mm. What else can you tell me? Okay. Yeah, the lovers. A choice in love. Oh, yeah. And imprisonment. Yeah, they look and look. <laughs> this mature energy, this masculine energy, they they don't know if they want to be locked in with this, this lover they chose or a choice that they made in love. Uh-uh. Toil and labor and courthouse. Yeah, they could have put a lot of effort into this connection. Somebody is really trying to make the right decision here, wondering if this decision that they're making is going to be beneficial to them here. Somebody is just looking at the money. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's too many people here. Yeah, it's, looking, <laughs> it's making me feel like somebody just want to just stop going in the direction that they started on, embarked on, and just do a, a bus, a U-turn, just a whole U-turn. Like, I don't want to do this no more. That's what I keep getting. Yeah, because things is not going to work out. Somebody is stuck with a choice that they made in the... In a connection here. This is what I'm getting. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get one more. We'll see. Occupation. Somebody don't know if they want to put the work in. Mm-hmm. We have community. Could be because of family, friends. Boss person. So it could be a group of people that's just, or a community of people, family, friends, that just, they could have lied to this masculine energy. That's why they looking at them. Taking a step back, like, whoa, hold on, swallow. I don't, I don't know if I want to do this. Okay. They like, uh uh. They rather, they rather, shit, they rather go in another direction. That's what I'm getting. It's like, it's been, it's been like somebody want to escape, escape a decision or a choice that they made here. Mm -hmm. That's a funny energy here. But some, some type of choice they made in love, mm -mm. it's like a big-ass hell no. Somebody started receiving karma here. Mm -hmm. This could have been somebody that they worked with. This this other lover here. Mm. Let's see. What can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Let's, let's just go on and get it. What can you tell me about this mature man? We have bile. Bile. Ooh, ooh. It could have been bile. But bile, this, this bile is bile. Mm, but vile and homeless okay so some type of promise or vow that they made they ended up homeless or they yeah they could have lost the home having memories of being at home or something like that mm -hmm. we can't tell me about this mature man mm, somebody lost a home in a decision in a court case could have been a divorce for some of you guys what is this we have Endorsement. Mm, somebody trying to attempt and bribe this mature man. Yeah, but he don't want it. This yeah, he don't want it. Yeah, somebody trying to entice or seduce this mature man to indulge, indulge in a third party situation, a threesome, something like that. Mm, they promised them all kind of joy and happiness if they interact with these group of friends, feminine energy here. Yeah. Yeah, this mature man is protesting that. <laughs> they don't want to hear that, okay? They turning, <laughs> they turning a blind eye to that. They are rejecting. They are rejecting this third-party energy. Hmm. This, this threesome, this friend group, something like that. Hmm. Yeah, because they having nightmares. Ooh, they see something. Wrong up ahead. What can you tell me about this mature man? Yeah, that's and you know what? That's a decision of a mature a mature man. They looking at things that could happen in the future. Look, imagination. And then threesome. Or uh, threesome. Indulgence. Imagination, threesome, indulgence. Indulgence, excuse me. They're resisting it. It's like it's feeling like somebody is trying to entice them, especially this lover here. It's all it's making me feel like they, yeah, yeah. See, this masculine here, they 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 decided that they was gonna 
go on this new path, this new journey with this, this lover here. Somebody that they was finagling with. Could have been, like I said, somebody they were working with. And then all of a sudden, this masculine energy changed their mind. Something happened to where they had to take a step back and look at things from a different perspective when it comes to this choice and love that they made. Mm. Okay. Okay, well, look, let's get one for the mature man. I said I wasn't going to be long. Yeah, sweetheart. Oh, sweetheart. They could have memories of love. Or somebody could be trying to seduce them. Somebody could have been lying to this masculine energy that they were pregnant and stuff. Trying to bribe them. Or they trying to... Yeah. Trying to uh, convince. Bribe or convince this masculine that this child is theirs. And they took a step back like, wait a minute. I don't think so. Fighting overload. They stressed out. They're overloaded and they scared. They all confused and shit. Some of them could be getting sick. They're very hesitant. Mm -hmm. They thinking of an exit plan. <laughs> okay. Honey, boom. Okay. Like, what? What can you tell me about this sweetheart energy? What? Is... We have memories in the reverse. They don't even want to remember this, this person. Yeah. They don't even want to. Shit, it, you know what? This masculine energy have dipped out on this love, <laughs> this lover, this lover situation. This, woo, they dipped out. They don't even want to have no memories of being with this person. Somebody that they, they had shit. They considered their their boo, their 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 lover, their sweetheart, their 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 bae. What happened? Shit. Let's just come together. Let me be nosy. What happened? Something happened in divine timing. Let's see. Mm, an opportunity to change. What happened? Why, why is this masculine energy taking a step back from this lover, this choice and love that they have made? Why are they taking a step back? They chose a lover and they don't want that choice anymore. Let's see. Holy Spirit, thank you. Yep, they don't want it no more. Do you boo? But why? Why? Why this taking a step back? Because they are out. But you know that energy been going around, though. Some type of action that was taken, or your person is taking some type of action now to separate and take a step back from this lover here because it won't work. Oh, we won't. it won't work because of other people. So this could be other people that's all in their business, or this other person could be involved with other people. It could be family and friends here, but it's too late to move move forward for some of you guys yeah yeah look it because your person is experiencing the loss of a family okay your person could have lost a family they lost their family fucking with this one right here <gasps> oh wow that's why adjudication is in the reverse yeah it didn't work mm -mm. some of you guys now they stuck in this choice oh they trying to make it work but they they really checked out they really checked out they don't want to be there Damn, what action they gonna take? We have just do it. Too many setbacks. Oh, they separating. This is why they took a step back. There's too many setbacks here. We're really dealing with a Sagittarius, or this could happen in Sagittarius season. Yeah, keep going. They out. But collective, you know I've been picking up on that energy like for the past couple of months, two, three months, about something's going down around the holidays, and here it go. I mean, it's popping up. It's coming to a head. We almost in November. Or, yeah. Well, we halfway through October, but it's coming in, honey. What can you tell me about adjudication in the reverse? Why is adjudication in the reverse, Holy Spirit? Because of the indulgence, I'm telling you. Yeah. This masculine energy, and they was having fun with this third party. This threesome. This is feeling like group orgies here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they partying and drinking and shit. It's feeling like they relaxing and chilling, going to, to the hotels and, you know, having fun and just, you know, living it up. I'm here in Vegas, so some of them could have been taking Vegas trips, you know, all in the group. This is feeling like some old polyamorous type energy here, something like that. Oh, yeah. 
they was they was having a good time. I mean, it was like they was living their life. Sweet dreams. Oh, they was living the the life they always dreamed of. Mm-hmm. Yep. But your person I found some evidence. Mm. Some type of evidence came in. But yeah, they going through bad karma. Things are not working out in their favor because of them indulging in third party energies. And it's really making me feel like it's 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 it's, it's, it's group. Okay? So it's like this masculine energy, they could have been shit banging a, 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 a group of friends, you know? <laughs> they all get together and have fun. That's, damn, but they don't want that no more. They're bagging out the deal. That's what I heard. Mm. They all could have worked together or could have had some type of whew, dealings with each other, worked in a group or something like that, group work. I don't know. What can you tell me? Why else is this dedication in the reverse? Ooh. Pride in the reverse. Somebody, they, they lost their pride. Oh, shit. It's almost like they didn't give a fuck. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't have no pride. They didn't have no, no nothing. It's like they didn't have no self-respect is what I'm getting with this pride in the reverse. Either your person or this, this, this group of friends or third party or something like that i mean it could be family but i'm not getting that i'm getting uh sex with this lover here you know they lost their pride they didn't have no shame in their game they just did it and now all uh, they ego are all on the flow because of this bad karma because things didn't work out uh-uh yeah they was giving it to this 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 friend group here we have merit making friendship accidents so you know they could have it's like, you know, it's been like something just all of a sudden just spiraled into what it is. You know, they could have been, you know, just like a group of friends just chilling after work, you know, not this sexual. Then all of a sudden one night it popped off. And from that one night, it kept on popping off. The person, this masculine energy don't want to do this no more. This is for some of you guys. I mean, take the message as it resonates. But everybody's person, you know, they they. They're not involved in this. If it's not a third-party situation, this is like family, sisters, aunties, something like that. That they was in cahoots with. Yeah. Yeah, they were, they was like they were influenced by this group of feminine energy. They could have held these people in high honor. So, you know, but they got trapped into a nightmare because they was blind and stubborn. To what people were saying that was against what they were doing, but they were living out their dreams. Shit, they was they was meeting them goals. That was a goal to live out their dreams. They shit, and then here come a natural disaster. Now they all lonely and shit. Wonder if people care. Now they need your help because they don't learn this lesson about being stressed out, or they learned the lesson through being stressed out here because they were wearing a mask and this third wheel shit. They was committed to you or commit in a commitment they was trying to get out of. Because of this third party. They was trying to get out of a commitment. So if you was married to your person, shit, they was, they basically abandoned you to try to go fuck around with this third party. And now shit, they homeless. <laughs> now they homeless and they need your help. Now they want to come back and, and promise you everything that they should have should have um, kept their promise about in the beginning. This is for some of you guys. But yeah, this adjudication in reverse and pride in the reverse. Let me tell you, this masculine energy, when I say that ego, that pride, that, 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 just, I want to say, uh, uh, big, big man energy, I am the man player energy, that shit gone. That shit is gone. What can you tell me about pride in the reverse? That shit is gone, collector. Somebody, they lost all oh, they probably can't look because they fell for the okie doke. Shit, they fell into the trap. This third party trapped this masculine energy. That's why they want to <laughs> take a step back. Okay? We have right and faith. Somebody could have did some spell work on your person to trap them. Okay? Talking about they're going to go off and have fun and adventurous times and shit. They fell into a trap. They fell for the okie doke. And collective... The majority of, yeah, they, they, 
they got they have some type of spell work done on them. Mm -hmm. We have magic, and then we have um, go, uh, what is it? Fortune telling. So somebody could have went to a, a tarot reader and kind of could have found out some information about this mature man in order to for them to find their weakness and seduce or put some type of spell, some type of sex magic on this masculine here. And they fell for the okie doke and they got trapped. And booyah, here come karma. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. Yep. It's it's almost like your person, they 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 committed. They committed to indulging in this third party activity here. That was something that was a goal that they wanted. Okay, so like I said, for some of you guys, this is a goal for your person to have this third party or have this threesome or have this this uh, polyamorous. I'm, I'm really getting that polyamorous. Like this, this mature man, they wanted it all, and then some type of natural disaster done came around. Mm hmm. A natural disaster to somebody that they care about. It could be. For some of you guys, this natural disaster happened with the child. So for some of you guys, they, they could have produced a child with this third party, this lover here, and then something happened. Yeah, and it was a nightmare. Yeah, it was a nightmare. And now your person feel lonely, needing help, needing a handout. Something like that. Mm, this is okay, so... Oh, let's go ahead and get it. This is this is very interesting. What can you tell me? What what can you tell me about this trap? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about the trap? I'm not gonna take that, but let's get it. It's still on the floor. What can you tell me about this trap? Here goes Sagittarius. So somebody is really dealing with a Sagittarius heavy. Okay, Sagittarius is temperance energy too as well. So somebody wanna they wanna Oh, balance something out. With this temperance energy, yeah. Equal give and take. They wanna they wanna balance their energies. Yeah, this is the reason why they took a step back because they shit. They wanna they want this justice energy to turn around. They know they're going through karma. That's what I'm getting. Look, we have lost here. Yeah, this person is lost. Lost in the sauce. Yeah, lost in wondering. Mm-hmm. Lost and wondering, shit. They lost out on everything. This is why they want to balance these, these energies, balance their emotions. I'm hearing. Mm, why is this pride in the reverse? What can you tell me about this pride in the reverse, Holy Spirit? Let's see. That's way too many. No, it's a lot. Oh my goodness, my love. Jeez. Okay, so somebody they yeah they trapped and they lost. With this imprisonment energy. Yeah, that's why I said for some of you guys, if they ch chose another person or a third party over you, they stuck with that motherfucker. And they having a whole lot of bad karma. Losing everything, okay? They trapped. And and with this pride in the reverse, it's like... It's like all of their air, all of their, their confidence is gone. They're stuck. Some of them is embarrassed. Let's see. What's this pride? Too late. It's too late. It's, it's too late. It's gone. They know it's too late. They stuck. Capricorn energy. This is devil energy. No problem. Next week. Mm, so somebody, they, yeah. They went off into this, this low vibing, tempting, tempting, devil energy with no problem and now it's too late for them to to get up out of it they trapped they're stuck they got to live out this karma they also too is stuck with this person what can you tell me about this lovers mm-hmm let's see what can you tell me about this lovers here holy spirit holy spirit holy angels what can you tell me about the lovers please and thank you child i mean but you know this is this is the aftermath after you starting to see things from a different perspective i mean hindsight is 2020 right this lover was wearing all kind of masks here okay they had a they had a different personality for every day of the week we have saving third will and withdrawal 
But some of you guys, your person could be saving up money to leave this third party here because they just just too many people here. Yo, this third party could be bipolar, schizophrenic, or something. But they just don't know who this person is. They get a different person, a different version of this person every day. Is what I'm hearing. Mm, what else can you tell me about this lover situation? Loneliness. So even though they decided or chose this other lover collective over you, they still lonely. Yeah, like they're still unfulfilled. Yeah, nightmare. Hey, somebody need help to get up out of this nightmare that they have caused and found themselves in. Okay, because it's some type of natural disaster or some type of adventure in life that they went on. Mm -hmm. You know, want to do something new, follow their passions and ex desires, exploring new lovers, other lovers, something like that. Now they over here lonely. And somebody mask fell off. Yeah, they starting to see the real deal, the real person. Uh-huh. Yeah, they was deceived. Yeah. And then it's like, shit, for some of you guys, your, your person... This third party could have ran off with another lover and left your person high and dry. Now they need help. Mm, mm, mm. What else can you tell me about these lovers? Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, but you know, this is a part of that karma. Now they stuck. Imagination in the reverse. Yeah, what they thought it was, it wasn't because somebody got played like a puppet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they coming out of illusions now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honey, boom. They thought they thought they was gonna have this this blissful life with this lover that they chose over you, collective. But mm -mm, they got played. Look, marionette and disturbance. Look at that third party. How they sitting on your person? This masculine energy shoulders playing them like a puppy. Your person was a simp. That's what it was. They was they was a straight chump. <laughs> Okay, this third party targeted this 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 masculine energy. Trapped them. Targeted and trapped them. And they fell for it. Yep, there go that double energy, see? What can you tell me about this loneliness, Holy Spirit? Yep. For some of you guys, your person could have left you alone. Because they showed up wearing a different mask every day. Okay. I mean, they could have shit. This, this imagination in reverse is giving me lying energy. Yep, yes. It was lying. I mean, you didn't know who this person was. It's because of the choice that they made when it comes to a lover situation. They chose somebody else. As whole. And so then they started acting funny, started abandoning you, started, you know, just turning their back and their heart cold towards you because of this other... This other third party energy. What can you tell me about loneliness? And now that shit came back on. Let's see. Okay, I'll take it. Don't do this. Mm-hmm. Yep. So your person, the karmic cycle, your person like, please don't do this. So yeah, it's making me feel like this third party done <laughs> left your person. This is for some of you guys. They done left. <laughs> They're not, I'll keep picking up on this energy. Here it go again. But for some of you guys, this third party done left your, your person for another third party. Okay. <laughs> and now your person is really taking a step back, looking at all the decisions and all of the, of the choices that they have made against you and, this, and, 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 and dealing with this third party. Now they see that it was all a trap. It was all a dream. <laughs> Now they see it was all a dream. That dream became a nightmare. They don't want you to do this. Karmic cycle, blessings, see? You were a blessing to them, collective. And now they're in a karmic cycle. Talking about don't do this because they feel lonely. But it's really making me feel like your person, even though it's like they're... It's both of you guys. It's kind of like this masculine energy is both yours. <laughs> Both of y'all's. I mean, that's what I'm getting because the person, this mask man, they lost you. They lost the lover that or this person, this third party that they chose over you. And they sitting over here just 
staring out the window. Wondering like, what the fuck? It is because they showed us false. Whoever that they thought they was, because we have mask and imagination in the reverse. So whoever they thought this person was, mm -mm, they're starting to see the truth about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody is not who they said they were. Mm-hmm. Yep. What can you tell me about loneliness? I mean, yeah. What can you tell me about imagination in the reverse? Why is imagination in the reverse? Let's see. Yeah. Ooh. Let's get it. Because we have family at the bottom of the deck. Somebody let go of family. A family dynamic. A family situation. Mm. Yeah, so... Uh, imagination is in the reverse because of another, another man. Could be a Scorpio. Okay? Or a Scorpio is coming out of some type of illusion here. Because something has ended. Something has died. A connection with this lover has died because of another man. Cycle is over. Not now. Checkmate. Got him. Okay. We have never. U-turn. Healing. Options. So somebody's coming out of illusion here. Mm-hmm. They're coming out of an illusion. They're, like I said, they mask fell off. Uh-huh. Now they want to heal things with you. Yeah. So something is happening not now because of another man. That's why I said, for some of you guys, this third party don't left your person for somebody else. And it's over. Check me. Got them. They never had them. This is why your person wanted to turn around and heal things with you, okay? We have options here. <laughs> So, they, yeah, they're backing away from this option that they have or they feel as though they have an option to turn things around with you. But with this never, you turn and never, mm, I'm hearing they should have never made you an option, Collector. Now they want to come back around to you and heal things with you. But this shit ain't happening right now because for some of you guys, boy, yeah, there's another man on the scene, another masculine energies. In your energies, Collective, checkmate, got them. This is the reason why this all came to an end. Death energy. This is what they're coming out of illusion with, okay? This is for some of you guys, so... Yeah. But your person, I mean, they just... They find they sell by they sell, but isn't this how they left you, Collective? Oh. Uh, the damn tables, honey. They turn fast as hell. The Empress. <laughs> Taurus energy. You could be a Taurus. Mm-hmm. Yep. They wondering about this Empress here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. Let's see. Let's get one. What can you tell me about this lover's energy? What can you tell me about this lover's energy, Holy Spirit? We have Gemini <laughs> lovers. <laughs> so lovers clarifying lovers, and we have friends at the bottom of the deck. So this your person, this masculine energy, that's what I'm getting. These were friends with benefits. A group of them. Shit. I mean, it's like everybody hopping on everybody. Yeah. It's, it's, it's too much. Ugh. Now they're scared. Somebody is scared. What are they scared of? Scared that something is all is well. Somebody's talking shit. Uh -huh. They want to separate now from a, another woman. They need your help. They scared that things going to be okay. Huh? Mm. With this double lover's energy here. And this deaf energy here. Um, they might want to get themselves checked. Okay, run all those tests. Because something is here to stay in prison, man. Mm. Let's see. What can you say about this lovers? So, lovers can't find lovers. So, this was just a big old love fest. That's what I'm getting. This is so fucking nasty. What can you say about the lovers? Let's see. Okay, we have no more. Aries. Emperor energy, and then we have cancer. 
chariot energy. So somebody took back control of their cells and now they're moving forward. Or yeah, an emperor could have moved away from this lover situation here. Yeah, just do it. This is for some of you guys. So we have water sign, fire sign, air signs out here. Just do it. Yes, yeah, somebody, somebody is jealous that they're not the one, or somebody did something out of jealousy because they're not the one. Karma. Whoa. Taurus, Empress energy. So somebody could be jealous of this emperor is here. Because they found out they're not the one. Now they stressed and pressured that this empress just let them go. And they were in a divine union, wasting time. Okay, like it was no problem. Mm, something like that, honey boy. That's crazy. That's, I mean, you know. This is just really somebody just reaping what they have sown. They made the wrong choice in love. And this is feeling like a, with this mature masculine energy this is this is somebody's divine counterpart because it did come out in first position so your person they grew up <laughs> learning all these lessons this is the reason why they came out as the mature man in the first position because they had to go through all of these lessons in karma <laughs> because of the bum ass decisions that they made and choices in love regarding you collective damn what can you tell me about the imprisonment what can you tell me about the imprisonment? Ooh, thank you. Ooh, cursed. See? Ain't no way out of this. They stuck. They stuck in this karma. Here. Scheduled confinement. Some of them could be stuck in jail. Spiritual or physical jail. Okay. They trying to catch up a time. Time ran out. And now they're stuck. Okay. Damn. They didn't follow the plan. And now they're stuck and cursed. They need some help. They want to apologize here. Mm. Yeah, they want to apologize for collaborating with other people. Profession in the reverse. People that didn't know no better. That this is faded. They thought that collaborating with these other people, this other group of people was fated for them. There was their destiny because they felt as though they could have some type of victory and success and a stroke of good luck. So they just didn't care. They was ready to shit, compromise the connection with you. And then booyah, yeah, it stopped. It's just like, like just one day, everything crumbled down with your person. Whew, honey boom. If they are in jail, I mean they 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 are angry because they have a lot of misfortune. I mean, some of them could be having a lot of hitting in their heart because whatever they was planning, they got locked out of. Mm-hmm. They got yep, they got locked up, locked out, something like that. What else can you tell me about this imprisonment? So yeah, but somebody they stuck, they stuck in this this bad luck. Damn, what else can you tell me about imprisonment? But some of you guys, um, somebody could have snitched on your person. They could have got them locked up. That's a part of their karma. We have stop. So, mm, somebody want this to stop or somebody didn't stop. Mm, yeah. Somebody took too long to stop something here. Yeah, reservation and promise. Yeah. So, somebody could have Reneged on the promise that they had made, something like that. Yeah, death and calm. Now they don't, they die, but <laughs> with death and calm, there's no rest here. Uh uh, damn it, disturbance. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because something is over, something is complete, something is complete. Disturbance and illness. Evidence. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell me about this imprisonment? It stopped. Somebody got stopped dead in their tracks. Somebody could have stopped the hate or, yeah, somebody could have been on their way to do something. And they got stopped in their tracks. Somebody could have went to jail on their way to do something or on their way from doing something. Let's see. What is this imprisonment? Thank you. Um, 
Third party. Third wheel. Got stopped. Cause they say curse. That means shit. <laughs> Big Tobacco Fantasy Land. I mean, come on. Cause yeah, they went on a an adventure. They 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 thought that shit. They thought that um uh, this this decision that they made, honey boom. They thought that this decision that they made with this third party was the best thing ever. And now look, they over here fighting and shit. Okay, conflict. They over here fighting with this this third party because for some of you guys, your person feel as though this third party <laughs> cursed them and had got them locked up or have them stuck. Mm-hmm. Somebody got played out of some money. Mm-hmm. Or somebody, yeah. Marinette and love, yeah. Somebody got manipulated thinking that, shit, they was going to come up. And now they're overloaded about the alliances that they have made with this third party. Shit. <laughs> but like I said, for the, majority, for, for the majority of you guys, your person is stuck with this third party and this karma. And that's 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 a part of they that's a part of their their justice, part of your justice. And they feel stuck, they feel cursed. They didn't stop fucking around with this third party and boo yeah. Family room, expectation. Wealthy man, message of concern, official person, unexpected income. Okay, I just had to check on something real quick, excuse me. But yeah, same thing. All right, let's see. What can you tell me about this stop? What's stop? What has stop collected or Holy Spirit? What has stopped for the collective? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Holy Spirit is talking. So for some of you guys, just Spirit, stop talking to your person. And just let this, this curse and karma come in. But no worries, because your person wasn't even worried about it. Does that mean you guys, your person didn't believe in karma? Mm-hmm. Yep. They had no worries, but something got too old, and now they want to run away from it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Somebody was wasting time with this divine union. So, yeah, the spirit stopped talking to your person. Why? They got blocked out. Jeez. They got tired of talking. Okay? Shit. They gave it up now. <laughs> Holy Spirit got tired of talking to your person. And just left them to their own devices. Okay? Things, I'm telling you. It happened around the holidays. Or this is going to happen around the holidays. Look, angel message. Okay, baby, that's facts. This is going down around the holidays, I keep telling y'all. Mm-hmm. Around Capricorn season. That's the end of December. Beginning of January. Yep. Somebody is trying to heal from some type of toxic connection with this third party here because it's just too much. Yeah. They were friends and now they've been warned. Now they want your forgiveness and they want to heal things with you. Yep. That's what's going down. Mm-hmm. What can you tell me about this third party then? This third party is a third wheel. I mean, they just like interjected themselves between you and your person. They made themselves relevant. And it's like, mm. what can you tell me about this third party, Holy Spirit? But your person told your, the Holy Spirit told your person to give up this third party. To stop doing this shit. Your person didn't. And now they stuck. <laughs> they stuck with this third party or they stuck in the karma. Yep. This third party was playing mind games or they were playing mind games with you about this third party and it didn't stop. It didn't stop. So, booyah. The hammer had to come down and they were in for a rude awakening. Mm -hmm, they are in for this rude awakening. We have Leo energy. Yeah, so somebody is trying to find the strength and courage to get through this here. Mm -hmm, get through these family issues. That they're having. Ooh, most high God is over here. Mm -hmm. So it's some type of decision that your person or you need to make now. Because there's a toxic third party around. Mm. This third party could be a Capricorn and keep coming out with that. Yeah, they friends. Yeah. They was friends with this third party. Or they, or they you know, claimed this third party to be friends. For some of you guys, it was same sex. Ooh. 
Where, yeah, some of you guys, they, yeah, they was sleeping with the homies. Hey. What can you tell us about these mind games? What can you tell us about this curse? Oh. Oh, other people. All is well. Other people are getting cursed. Especially ones who think that everything is fine. But collective, you don't have to worry about this. Because not only is your person this third party getting this, this karma too, other people that knew and didn't say nothing, like family, friends, they knew that your person was creeping around with this third party. And they didn't say anything. They didn't do anything. They didn't try to, you know, talk some sense into your person or something of the sort. They they, they condoned it. They, they was okay with it. I'm hearing for some of you guys, they had family that let them come around with this third party. Knowing damn well you was with your person or y'all was in a committed relationship or marriage or something like that. But they could go over uncle so-and-so house with this third party and act like they a couple. But some of you guys, they brought the third party around their family during functions functions and family events that they had. Some of them, even in holidays. They could have brought this third party around their family during the holidays. They catching that karma too. They made it okay for your person to step out on this divine connection. Wow. Wow. Well, what can you tell about these other people then since they came on out? <laughs> but it's like, wow. Where it go? Know thyself. Okay. So, yeah. Them people, the other people, they knew what they was doing. And they knew exactly what they was doing. And they had no problem with it. Mmm. Wow, I mean, you know, hey. <sighs> these family, these friends, they were they were karmic and toxic. And they con condoned that toxic behavior too. You made it okay for your person to do such things <laughs> against this divine union here. What can you tell me about occupation? That's no, that's that's that I uh -uh. <laughs> that did not come out right. Let's do that again, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Occupation. We have promise coming up in the reverse. So somebody uh, they promised to work on something. Mm -mm. They don't want to work on that. Mm -mm. And nope, because it's too much conflict. I mean, it's like they thought that they was gonna be able to. move forward on the promise that they made, but mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not at all, honey. What else can you tell me about this occupation? Uh, for some of you guys, your person could have promised to get a job, and they did it. They broke that promise. They put a lot of work. You could have put a lot of work into this. We have stress in the reverse. So somebody is trying not to stress about a broken promises or a broken promise. They... Focusing on their career or their job or something like that. This could be your person. Yeah. Coming out of stress. Or this could be you. Not stressing over the broken promises that your person has made. And just focus on your your own talents, jobs, goals, things of the sort. Somebody, yeah, somebody is homeless and now they're praying. They're praying for help. They're praying for guidance here. Yeah, they're overloaded because uh, they made the wrong alliance here. Somebody, yeah, that friendship or that choice is over. And what else can you tell me about occupation? What else can you tell me about occupation here? Sweet dreams. Somebody could be getting a dream job. They're not stressing. That's for some of you guys. But for others, you know, they really dreaming at night about how they could put work into this connection with you, Collective, because they broke their promise. But they don't want to stress over it. Ooh, they could have broke a promise to marry you. 
They don't they don't want to stress over this. Uh-uh. Because this marriage is worth saving. Somebody want to come out of this. Somebody's putting in the work to come out of this stressful energy because this marriage is worth saving. Okay? Or this promise to marry to marry or something like that. There could be people protesting this, but justice will be prevail because this is an eternal love and somebody lost their blessings. Yeah, somebody lost their, their blessings, but they vow to have good news because she, somebody had a family on an accident, but they still going to try to persevere because of this natural disaster that they was trying to hold back from or hold on to end up being a nightmare. Now they want to apologize. Okay. Some of them want to move in. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, but somebody, so their goal was to take something from you. This could be the third party. Yeah, the person that was coaching them on how to do this. Or they were getting coached or duped or... I want to say... Um, yeah, coached or duped. Somebody could be sick here. Terminally ill. They got to take care of them. But they... They always fighting and arguing, pretending like things are okay, but they should. They got to learn that life lesson. It's not that easy to get out of some type of commitment that you want to. Yes, now they all mad and shit because they ready to start something new. Uh-huh. But, hmm. It's not happening. Those are the choices and decisions that your person has made. What can you tell me about this promise in the reverse? What can you tell me about the promise in the reverse, Holy Spirit? Talking shit. Yeah. Somebody broke a promise. Somebody broke their promise or somebody received a broken promise and they talking shit. They will not stop talking shit. Okay. Another woman is scared of a karmic cycle. Mm, they want to heal things with their person. They're trying to go back, baby mama, but they losing everything. Somebody's pissed off because they loyal. Because of loyalty, loyalty to you, something like that. Or this could you this could have been you pissed off at your person because they was loyal to a baby mama. Take the message as it resonates. Somebody's hoping and wishing that they could ghost you or they could you could they could cut you off or you cut them off or something like that, but that's a mistake and now they want your forgiveness, but they think as though something has gotten too old. Out of time, too late, something like that. They over here talking shit. Why they talking shit? What they talking shit about? Why they over here talking shit? Why they over here talking shit? Oh, because something is happening next week. Somebody is trying to stop somebody from coming back next week. This is why they over here talking shit. Because your person broke a promise to them. This is making me feel like the third party over here talking shit. Because your person want to come back and save this marriage. Shit. Okay? Your person want to come back and save their marriage, their commitment that they have with you, collective. And somebody over here want to protest, okay? Because, shit, they want things, they want justice and come out in their favor. But they don't realize that you have an eternal love or eternal contract or soul contract with your person, okay? Mm-hmm. Now this third party feel as though they lost their blessing or this is the reason why your person is coming back towards you collective because they feel as though they lost their blessing and they vowed to bring good news in to you. Okay, because they could have had an accident. They could have had a family outside of the connection with you by accident. <laughs> okay, but they want to get through this disaster that they have. <laughs> oh, because they want to keep you on lock or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but... What I do know is that somebody pissed off that they want to come back towards you collective and um, reconcile, fix some things, balance it out. Holy Spirit not playing. And somebody over here worried. Mm -hmm. Somebody is worried that you do not care anymore. This is for some of you guys. Yeah. There go the holidays. Going down around the holidays. Angel message. Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah, they scared that you don't even care no more. Mm -hmm. and, and they know you was loyal. Now they pissed off. Or somebody pissed off because they loyal to you or something like that. It's going down around the holidays. Could be dealing with a Pisces. 
Somebody didn't see this karma coming. We have the moon energy and karma. Mm, they don't see this karma coming. Uh-uh. Because of an empress. Taurus energy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. An empress that they quit on. Or an empress that they stressed and stressed out and pressured. I'm hearing bully. But yeah, 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 yeah. This, yeah. This empress was stressed and pressured. So they said, fuck it. They quit. They quit on the job because somebody just couldn't get it right. They were too immature. Somebody they had a family with. And now it won't work because somebody was willing to do some bullshit. Hmm, this year. They found out they're not the one. And now they wish they could come back, but they was wasting time. And now bad karma is here because of a third party that is just too much. So you just said, fuck it, collective. You start loving on yourself, and here come your blessings that's coming in, and it won't stop. Now somebody's scared. This baby mama's scared because they're losing everything. This emperor had family issues because the Most High God had made a decision to let them go because they was a narc. <laughs> oh, shit. What can you tell me about stress in the reverse? Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about stress in the reverse? What is this collective loyalty? Mm, mm, mm. And keep going. Mm. This is you. you just, this is you, collective. Your loyalty is intact. Keep going, because somebody is still a liar now. Mm, what can you tell me about this loyalty? With stress in the reverse and loyalty? Yeah, you're not stressed out. Like I said, collective, you concentrating on making your money, concentrating on your job or getting the job or something like that. Somebody don't want to be stressed anymore because you're loyal. What can you tell me about loyalty? We have two old run away. Mm-hmm. It's you. Yep. I mean, being loyal to something, it got too old. And you just said, fuck it. You got the hell on. You kept it moving. You kept going. <laughs> you wasn't sorry. You sorry, not sorry. Got to go. Got to go because of a baby mama that is stressed and pressured. And then <laughs> stressed and pressured about being let go because of bad karma. Holy Spirit not playing. Mm -mm. Most I got here. Come on now. Ooh, divine timing is at work. Ooh, I'm telling you, when you, this other woman, look, most high, most high is putting this other woman in their place. They over here wondering why. For some of you guys, your person, oh, this other woman is over here wondering why they have to separate from your person now. This is happening around the holidays, baby. Yeah, they mad, mad. They mad, mad they got to let go. Shit, they mad mad that your person let go and they didn't give a fuck with no worries. They went into hermit energy, Virgo energy. Shit. Because boo hell. Something was toxic, Capricorn energy. And now, collective, they want your forgiveness. They trying to find strength and courage to have to ask for your forgiveness because of this divine union. But collective, you've been warned. So. On that note, I'm going to leave it right here, Collective. This is what I have for you. If any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care, my loves. Bye.